Hello, my name's Luke Parvid and I'm the product manager for Eagle and in this video I want to show you some of the features of Eagle. So we're looking at the properties dashboard here which has a list of all the properties and some information that you might need at a glance for any of those properties. Um, all of the properties are separated into their separate categories for quick access and we've also got these filters here so that you could search for all properties with three bedrooms or all properties uh, between a certain price or all properties listed with certain agent. We've also got this quick jump so that you can go to any um, property that you like from any screen and any contact as well. So let's have a quick look what's included in a property listing. If we go to this property in Double Bay here. Now we've set up this screen to have all the information that you would want when you're working with a property. So on the left you've got some internal notes and on the right you've got all activity that's happening with that property. So emails that you've sent, uh, inspections that have occurred, inquiries that have come in, buyer alerts that have been sent, and so on. And on any of these activities, you can hover over the contact to get their details in case you want to make a call, or you can click through to the contact record, which we'll have a look at in a bit. You can also log any information you want. You can create a note on this property, which will go onto the stream below. Um, you could log an inquiry. Just start typing the person's name. If they're not in your system already, you just click add new contact. It will take you to a, a pop-up box that where you can add a contact. You can also log an inspection and log it to a certain inspection time that you've got created for that property. And you can also log any offers. All of this information in the stream goes into your vendor report. Now you can set a range of time that you want your vendor report to cover. So you might want to create from the listed date to now, or you might want to create just a, a week, a vendor report for a week. So you can print that vendor report as a PDF. You also have a list of all the buyers that have inquired or inspected on the property or tenants, depending on if it's a rental or a sale. And you've also got these smart lists. So a list of people who have con or who have inquired or inspected the property, we could send them an email or send them an SMS. Uh, contacts matching this property in our database, same thing. And also a list of all the different inspection times. So who came to the inspection time on November 27 at one o'clock, we could send them an email and follow them up or whatever we'd like to do. And we'll look at that bulk marketing feature in a little bit. We can also create brochures direct from this page as well. And if we go back to the property screen, we can also create brochures directly from here. So if we wanted to, um, you know, print off a brochure for that property in Double Bay, we could just come on here, search for Double. There's Double Bay there. Okay, let's print off our window card. We want to use this template. The system will generate that template for us and download it as a PDF. There we go. And this is that brochure. Got the agent details, logo, contact details. On the back, it's got the floor plan. And you can just print this off and pop it in your window. Now there's also other brochures that you might want to print. If we go to the window cards and stock list, uh, the brochure that we just created, if you wanted to, you know, create brochures for a number of different properties, you can just select them all, choose a template and click generate brochures to create many brochures at once. Or you've got property lists on the right hand side here. So you might want to create a list of all your current residential rentals with the inspection time. So you'll just click that and it will generate the brochure.
So here comes that brochure. And there it is, it's got a front cover and then got your property list. If you wanted to create a property list with only certain properties on it, you could create a custom property list. And with this way you can sort, maybe you wanna create land, maybe between a certain price range with, uh, well, land wouldn't have bedrooms, but um, maybe you only wanna show sold land. Who knows, you can create all sorts of different combinations with this custom property list. You would give the list a name and then you can generate a brochure that way as well. We also have a booklet where you could create a foldable booklet as well. So on the left hand side, we've got different tiles and your different properties. And on the right hand side, we've got our booklet. So if you wanted to create a new page in the booklet, you would just click new page and then just drag and drop the properties that you want on that page. Just like that. Then once you've got that, you would just generate the brochure or the booklet. And this will create a PDF where we can just print that out on a duplex printer. And it will print out a booklet for us that we can just grab out of the printer and fold it in half and, and start handing them out. So I'll show you that now. And this is what that booklet looks like. So that's another handy listing tool and marketing tool as well. You could offer potential vendors a whole page for their own property if they go with a certain package, for example. So now let's have a look at the contacts database. Now the contacts database is really central to the system and there's a few automatic ways that contacts come into the system so if you receive an inquiry through your website or if you receive an inquiry through um, realestate.com or domain and other portals as well it, they will automatically be fed into your database without needing to enter them so eagle actually builds your database on autopilot Another way the database gets built is at open for inspections. If you're using our inspection app, which we'll show you in a little bit, those people will go straight into the database as well. So as long as you have all those inquiries and all those inspection um, avenues set up, your database will automatically build itself. Now, uh, an important concept we have in contacts is groups because there's no point marketing to everyone you want to market to the right people at the right time so we have default groups that come in the system buyer landlord uh, potential tenant potential vendor it's about five groups that come with but you can um, edit and create your own groups for your own purposes You can filter by your group. So if you want to select all buyers, you just hit the buyer uh, group here and that will filter all of the um, contacts. There we go. Um, or you can filter by any of these preferences. Now, one cool thing you might want to do is say you've just listed a property that's got three bedroom. You might want to fire, you might want to find all of your contacts that are actually interested in three bedroom properties. So you'd select residential sale and we're looking for people that are interested in three bedrooms and we click find contacts and you can see it's created these filters for us and now that will show anyone in our database that matches that criteria. So here we are. Now what we can do is we can select all those people. We might want to add them to a group. Or we might want to email those people. Or we might, might want to export that. And then we might have a, you know, you could have a, a separate 
um, program or whatever that you want that data into. So you could import into that. So let's um, go ahead and pretend we're going to email this group of people. You'd click email. Now these are the people that are going to receive that email. You might notice some that you don't want to send to, so you would just untick them and then go save and next. And now we write the content for this email. So for this one, it might be a new three bedroom property for sale in a hot location. Now that's our campaign name, which is our internal use. And then this is the subject of the email. We can put in any message we like here. We can attach PDFs or any other file that you like as well. And then you can also put in any properties that are in your database. So you could um, just sort by properties that you want to select yourself or, okay, you want to put a just listed section in. Here are the just listed properties in your database. And here are your for sale properties. Um, and here's our, here's our land. I know we've changed a little bit from what we were writing this email about, but I just wanted to give an example of how you can use this email marketing feature. You can also, there's two types of templates. You can use a list template or a large template. A list template shows a little thumbnail on the left and then the property details on the right. A large template shows a nice big photo in the email. So let's do that. And then we click save and next. And we can review everything before we send it. So let's have a preview of how that email marketing campaign would look. We've got our just listed properties. Then we've got our large template, which is these ones. With the full details and the um, the agent picture, the more info button goes to the link on your website and then we've got um, the signature. Now your clients can unsubscribe at any time just clicking the unsubscribe link and then system takes care of that automatically. You wouldn't need to do anything else there. Once you've sent a campaign you get really cool reports on uh, the campaign that's been sent. So if we click into one of this old one, one of these old ones, you can see how many recipients <coughs> the email was sent to, what groups it was sent to, what subject it was, and you can view what the email was. You see the open rate, the click rate, a uh, little bit more information here, the performance over 24 hours, and you can see which subscribers opened and you can click through to those people uh, into their records so and get their information. But the cool thing is you can also see what properties people have clicked on and you can see who clicked on what properties. So you can really pinpoint your phone calls and only talk to people that are interested um, and you can pick up the phone and speak to them in a very targeted way. So that's a really cool tool as well. So let's just quickly look back at the contact records now. Um, let's have a look at Nathaniel here. Here we go. Now it lists all the tags or all the groups that that person is a part of. And this is the dashboard. And then we've got the activity feed of everything that's happened in this contact, well, with this contact in the past. And then on the right hand side, we've got all of the properties that this contact owns, and then all of the tasks that are currently sitting on this contact that are overdue and upcoming. You can just tick off tasks and they'll, um, they'll disappear. You can send an email or send an SMS straight from this section or even send a letter with letter templates that are in the, the system. You could um, print off, say, sales advice or, or whatever you'd like there. Um, 
you can send an email with certain properties attached and um, uh, any attachments as well. What you can also do for any contact, you can list the preferences, what that person is actually list, looking for. Now, if a, a, a contact comes through automatically through an inspection time or through realestate.com or any of the other portals, these will be pre-filled with the property that they've inquired on. Uh, but basically, you can go in here and update the uh, criteria that this person is, is looking for. So this person is looking for a house, three to four bedrooms, a uh, minimum of two bathrooms. They don't have any preference on the land size and they're looking for at least two car spaces. You could also filter by suburb or more than one suburb. You can have unlimited suburbs and you could also filter by property tags. So you can tag a property with any tag and then search by that in the preferences. And of course, any comments that you might want to put. Once you've filled in the preferences, you now have a new tab called matching properties. And this shows all the properties in your database that are currently for sale that match that criteria. And if you want to, you can turn on buyer alerts and that contact will, in the next 10 minutes, receive an email with all of those properties. And every time you add a new property, they will receive an email alerting them that you've, that you've added that listing. So this is a really cool feature to be able to uh, keep your database up to date. So a lot of agents, when an inquiry comes in, they fill in the preferences, turn buyer alerts on, and then that automates the process of letting people know of new properties that match their criteria. Just quickly, in Eagle, you can manage your website um, from these this tab here. You can update content on pages, add news posts, add videos, testimonials, and manage any content blocks that might be on your website. And the other really cool feature we've got is automation. Now, automation allows you to customize the actions from uh, customize what happens when certain events happen in your office. So for example, let's have a look at this inspection attendee automation. Now what happens is this, so when an inspection is attended, so when someone comes into your open for inspection, you can, or what will happen is that first they'll be sent an SMS saying, hi, and then the person's name, thank you for coming to our open for inspection. At, and then it will have the property address. For more information, you can visit, and then it's got the office URL. And any other questions, please let me know. So that's an SMS that gets sent as soon as you log the person in at, on the inspection app. And an email as well. So this automation, when, it, when someone comes into an inspection, it'll send them an SMS and then send them an email. Then it will create a task to follow that person up in seven days time. So you might want to create another um, action here. So let's say we want to wait for a day after they've um, after that person's come in for the inspection and then send them another email. Okay, so we could put in any subject. How are you going with your property search? And then type in the message, which we won't do here. Do any attachments. You can also load templates that you've got in the system and you can also load tags, which I won't go into right here. But that's the kind of thing you can do with automations and it's incredibly flexible. So you could have an appraisals track or a track for hot buyers or for cold buyers or cold vendors or just any types of communications, you can automate them using this automation section. The last thing I wanna show you before I wrap up this demo is the inspections app. So this is in a, a website, but this would usually show on your phone, so it would be a lot smaller. 
but basically um, when you log in you'll be given a list of your properties that are currently on the market and the idea of this mobile app is that at an inspection you can log people and you can send documents to people very easily so let's um, search for that property at Double Bay there we go so we'll click into that and these are the different inspection times so you might be rocking up and it's the um, 4th of September okay and so people would now be lining up and um, starting to come into the inspection and you just type them in if you type someone in and they're already in the system it will show up with close matches that you can tap that and then just select them and it will fill in the rest of their details or you can just fill in the person's details and click save that will then add them as an attendee you can also send documents so if you're out in the car and someone says can you send me through the um, a copy of what the contract would look like you jump in here you click to send the document and just start typing here okay and send and that documents being sent so if the person's not in the system you can easily add them in when you send in a document or you if they're in the system already it's as easy as you just saw then so that's the eagle system i hope that has helped uh, show you what it can do and uh, look forward to hearing from you soon